Hey everybody, it's your boy Le Bay of Rome, the Disabled Fragrance Guy, and I'm back for another review. Do me a favor, if you haven't done so already, please go down below, like, and subscribe to the channel. You guys know your support means everything to me. Guys, I am back from my vacation. Uh, I took last week off from doing a lot of content and things like that to spend a few days in, in uh, Las Vegas. Uh, went down there, spent about four days at the Venetian uh, Resort and Casino. Loved it, loved it loved it i always enjoyed my times in vegas had a great time uh just relaxing and recuperating and rejuvenating recharging my batteries but now i'm back at home in maryland and it's time to produce more content so today i'm going to be reviewing to you or uh, for you um a fragrance that i absolutely did take on my vacation uh, because i describe this fragrance as a beach in a bottle and that fragrance is none other than Nativa Jamaica. Now, full disclosure, Nativa did send this bottle to me for my review, but as you guys know, all opinions are my own. I don't fake it for a uh, free product in the mail. What you're going to get is my honest opinion always. So, Nativa Jamaica came out in 2016. The nose behind the fragrance is Laurent Le Gernac, and if I butchered that pronunciation, I apologize immensely. Uh, the notes in the fragrance are Gayak Wood, Mandarin Orange, Frangipani, Vetiver, Vanilla, and White Musk. This is a 3.4 ounce bottle, 100 milliliters. This will run you $125 US. So it's actually not very uh, unreasonably priced. It's, it's a very good price point for us frag heads for a 100 ml bottle. You definitely get a lot of juice. And let's go on the smell. Now it is my scent of the day. I do have it on this card here. I will give a fresh spray to the uh, sample card. Atomizer is really, really good. It is a floral classification. And if you guys have, are familiar with my previous content, you know florals and I have a very complicated relationship. But I will tell you off jump that I love this floral. I absolutely love this floral composition. There's a bit of a coconut at the top. Um, it's very, very photorealistic. It, it's mouth watering. Like I said before, this is the beach in a bottle. I sprayed this on last week as I was sitting out by the pool in 104 degree weather. It was perfect. It's sweet, but not gourmand sweet. Uh, it doesn't leave you with a toothache. It's not gonna give you a cavity. Um, it's just the right amount of sweetness and floral and fruitiness um, that brings the whole fragrance together. It's very, very nice. Um, I can see in my mind's eye children laughing, children playing, children splashing each other in the water, um, on the beach, at the pool. This is the perfect summertime vacation fragrance. Now, I wouldn't wear this to work because I don't think it's... Uh, business-like, uh, business-like, but it is very, very vacation-y. You should wear this definitely in casual situations on vacation. This is going to be perfect for that uh, scenario. It reminds me, like I said, sitting at the uh, pool last week in Las Vegas, definitely reminds me of that, just sipping on a drink, uh, listening to the music that's surrounding me, hearing the kids splash in the water. It reminds me of that so, so much. This is a perfect vacation fragrance, guys. If you like Bond Number no. 9 Fire Island, I suggest you get your nose on this. Um, this is a much smoother and a little bit more soft version of Fire Island. That's the fragrance that actually, uh, this reminds me of most Fire Island by Bond Number no. 9. If you know that fragrance, if you've gotten your nose on that fragrance, Definitely check out uh, Nativa Jamaica. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Like I said, this is summer, spring and summer in a bottle. This is the perfect, perfect fragrance to add to your summer wardrobe in your collection. I don't think it's going to um, be a good all year round fragrance unless you are living in a warmer climate where uh, winters don't get that cold. Um, but I don't think it's gonna stand up to the dead of winter. So here in Maryland, when it becomes, you know, 45, 40, 35 degrees, I don't think I'll be pulling for this. But if you live in a, in a more dry, more warm climate, like say California, Arizona, Las Vegas, um, and your winters um, 
are about 60, 70 degrees, I definitely think you can pull this off in that type of weather. You know, whether you're laying out getting sun um, or playing volleyball or, you know, being sporty in the summertime, this is the perfect all around casual fragrance. Um, and it, I also smell a little bit of peach in the fragrance as well, in the mid and in the dry down. This is like eating a basket full of peaches and coconut uh, in the sun and sand. <laughs> if, you're, if you're into that, uh, if you're into picnics in the, on the beach and things like that, this is the perfect fragrance you, you can visualize or I can visualize eating peaches and coconuts and enjoying a refreshing fruit in the summer sun on the sand with your blanket out and your significant other and your kids running around. This is the perfect fragrance for that. It's warm, it's tropical, it's creamy. Um, it's just overall beachy goodness in a bottle, let me tell you guys. Um, it lasts for about eight hours on my skin. I have worn this on skin several, several times. It lasts about eight hours on my skin. It never becomes a skin scent. The performance is absolutely beastly on my skin. and It's actually better in the heat because it projects more, you're sweating, It the fragrance goes out further. So. Nativa Jamaica, this is, this is, if you like florals, get your nose on this. If you like Bond Number no. 9, Fire Island, get your nose on this. I definitely want to thank Nativa for sending this bottle for my review. Guys, thank you so much. I truly do appreciate you. I'm going to leave some links or a link down below to where you can get uh, this bottle. Thank you guys. That's my time. I appreciate you. I'm a little bit short today because I'm still kind of recuperating from the jet lag and, and, uh, being out of town, but I wanted to get you guys this uh, fragrance front in front of your radar because I definitely think as the summer progresses, you need this in your summer wardrobe. That's my time. Thank you very much, guys. Go down below, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell uh, so that you'll be notified about every time I drop a video to YouTube. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.